All right, now I always want to make sure you guys are totally up to date with all the cool features and updates for your phones. And this time we are diving straight into WhatsApp. Meta just dropped a bunch of awesome newly released features and trust me, you want to check these features out. Let's jump in and see exactly what's new and how can you start using them right now. The first cool recently added feature is shake to report bugs. Yes, we can now shake the phone while the WhatsApp is on the screen to report a bug. Let's say while using the WhatsApp, while typing the message or while using the settings, you come across a bug, the application freezes or any issues that you face, you can instantly report it by shaking the phone once. When you do that for the first time, you will get this page. It says you can send feedback easily by shaking your phone, report issues like app freezes, crashes or broken features, include details and screenshots to help us understand your feedback. Shaking your phone also adds a screenshot you can edit or remove. The moment you shake your phone, it will take a screenshot and add it right here and it will show you this text box where you can describe the technical issue and tap on send. This feature is pretty cool and I really wish this was available in some of the third party applications where we can quickly send the bugs. Next, recently Meta enhanced the about feature on WhatsApp. Let me show you that. Let's go to the settings and here you can see my current status is working. When I tap on this, I will be able to change the status here. I got a few presets like free to chat, slow to respond, hanging with friends, traveling, excited. You can select the one that you want. If you want to add emojis, you can tap on this and add more emojis and tap on OK. And now recently Meta has also added this additional feature called duration. You can change the duration of this particular status. You can tap on this. You can set it for one hour, eight hours, one day, two days, one week and custom. So this status will disappear automatically after the set period. Now, whenever the other person opens your chat on the top left corner, the status will pop up. He or she can also tap on that particular status indicator to react or reply to it. And that status will disappear automatically depending on the time that you have set. Next, inside the group chat, we now have a brand new feature which was recently added. If you are replying to a specific group member, when you tap on at, you get the group member name. Along with that, you also get the option called all. You can mention all members in this chat. You can just select that. It will just say all and you will be addressing all of them in the group. That's fantastic. The next feature is a security feature. This is called strict account settings. This new security feature offers users an all in one toggle that enforces the platform's highest standards for privacy. When active, it immediately adopts a zero tolerance approach to potential threats by blocking all attachments and media from unknown senders and eliminating dangerous link previews. This is an important feature. Let's go to WhatsApp. I'll tap on settings and we've got privacy here. Tap on that. Scroll all the way down. You will find advanced option. Tap on that. Here you can see we've got a brand new toggle called strict account settings. It says to help protect your account. If you are at high risk of targeted cyber attacks, certain settings will be locked. Most people do not need this level of protection. This will reduce the quality of your messaging experience and calls. But hey, if you want this feature, it's available right here. It provides the highest standard of security. When you tap on that, it'll tell you what exactly it does. Media and attachments will be blocked from unknown senders. Privacy settings will be updated to limit who can call or message you. When turned on, certain settings will be locked. You can turn off strict account settings at any time. So you can go ahead and enable this if you need this. Next, we've got a brand new feature called customizable emoji stickers while updating our status. Let's say I want to update my status here. I'll add status. Let me select an image. Maybe a slightly funny image here with some uh, red hair style you can see. Now while updating this image as a status, what I can do is I can tap on the sticker icon. You can see we've got a brand new page over here. We've got recently added stickers. We've got some shapes over here. World of Cricket, copy all these uh, stickers which I've downloaded. And you can tap on this option where you've got your own character with various different gestures. Now let's say I find this hairstyle to be funny. Then I just select this particular one. I will add this sticker right over here on this status. Looks pretty cool. Likewise, you can change it to anything else you want. You can select a location if you want. And uh, let's say you want to select a photo. You want to add a photo here. I can add a photo as well on the, on the status. And then we have got uh, music, question, reaction. Let me tap on reaction here. 
You can see various reactions here. I can tap on plus button for more emojis. Likewise, we have got various different options while creating a status. And at the bottom, you can see we have got additional sticker options. If you want to add more, you can add more right here. And we have got shapes as well. So you can utilize all this. You can change the color of the shape. You can see here, all these customization options are now available while updating the status. So if you are someone who keep updating your status, you should check out this feature. This might have arrived already on your uh, WhatsApp version or these features may be on the WhatsApp beta. Be wary of that. These features are arriving very, very soon. Next, users will soon gain the ability to add contextual relevant identifiers to their profile within specific groups. This feature enables a user to assign a custom tag like a team lead or event coordinator visible only to members of that particular group, which can be set directly from the group info screen. This design choice maintains privacy by ensuring the tag doesn't follow the user to other chats while drastically improving organization and communication by clearly defining individual roles within structured settings. So that's a pretty cool feature which will be available within the group. And this feature is not showing up on my phone yet and it is arriving very, very soon. So let's wait for it. I'll keep you guys posted. Next, we've got some brand new AI features. The first one is a general image editing capability that takes text prompt to modify existing images by adding, removing, or adjusting elements to alter the overall look of the scene. For example, I will use Meta AI and attach an image here. Let me just attach an image from the gallery. Let's say I want to change the background of this image. I just ask Meta, change the background to Eiffel Tower. I just send it. Now you can see it is working on this image. There it is. I just got my photo. The background just got changed to Eiffel Tower. So likewise, you can change the background. You can add or remove objects. Something that we do on Gemini, we can now do it on Meta AI. And complementing this, there is another feature called Imagine Yourself, which utilizes a user's image data to generate new imaginative images of them in different styles or settings. We can trigger that by saying, imagine me, and then attach the image, and you ask the AI what you want on that image. Now that is actually not working. Actually, I tried that feature. I sent this image and asked, imagine me in blue shirt near Eiffel Tower. It says, I can't generate images of you yet. This feature will be available to you very soon. So this feature is also in progress. So we'll be seeing this feature very soon on WhatsApp. Now, here is something very important for people living in India who are using WhatsApp. Now we all know that WhatsApp allows users to seamlessly sync messages across their primary phone, laptops, and tablets without needing the phone to remain connected. And this feature is facing some issue in India due to new legislation from the Department of Telecommunication. And the new directive mandates continuous SIM validation requiring the SIM used for account registration to remain active and linked to the device at all times to curb fraud, which will disrupt usage from travelers and Wi-Fi only device users. Furthermore, as part of this new security framework, all web sessions like WhatsApp web must now be automatically logged out after a maximum of six hours forcing frequent re-authentication via QR code and potentially disrupting workflows for both regular users and businesses relying on long-running desktop sessions. Now, this is going to be an issue here in India. It might not have been implemented yet, but the government is saying that the SIM needs to be on the device continuously for using WhatsApp. And if you're using web-based WhatsApp, it'll automatically log out after six hours and you need to use the QR code again to sign in. So that is something which is coming up. So be wary of that and plan accordingly. Now, this is something which I want to share with you guys in this video. If you find this video informative, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated with everything that's happening with your phone. And don't forget to download our wallpaper application, Volvers. The link is in the description. Go ahead, check it out. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.